बिस्मिल्लाहमान रहीम अस्सलाम वालेकुम डियर फ्रेंड्स हेयर इज बायोकेमिस्ट हिम्मत अली मेमन एंड यू आर वाचिंग एस एस बायोकेमिस्ट ऑनलाइन कोचिंग सेंटर इन दिस क्लास वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द हेमोग्लोबिन एंड द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द हेमोग्लोबिन इफ यू आर वाचिंग फर्स्ट टाइम माय YouTube चैनल काइंडली सब्सक्राइब एंड प्रेस ऑन द बेल आइकन फॉर द न्यू अपडेट्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट हेमोग्लोबिन हेमोग्लोबिनस is a respiratory pigment which perform vital role in the metabolism hemoglobin is a respiratory pigment because hemoglobin carry the oxygen for the respiration that's why we call it respiratory pigment and which performs the vital role in the metabolism for the metabolism respiration is very necessary so hemoglobin is a respiratory pigment because it carry the oxygen for the respiration which perform the vital role in the metabolism this respiratory pigment allows the aerobic respiration first of all what is respiration respiration is a process in which glucose is break down in the presence of oxygen into the energy it means glucose convert into the energy in the presence of oxygen that is called respiration so respiration is a process in which food is break down or glucose is break down in the presence of oxygen that is called respiration and there are two types of respiration aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration aerobic respiration is a respiration in which oxygen is involved it means in aerobic respiration occur in the presence of oxygen and anaerobic respiration is a respiration which occur in the absence of respiration so oxygen is necessary for the aerobic respiration hemoglobin present inside the rbcs and they provide the red color to the rbc look in this diagram this is a rbc and inside the rbc you will find the zigzag like structures and these zigzag structures are the globulin protein and in the center of this zigzag uh, structures in the center you will find a pigment yellow yellowish pigment and that is a heme what is the function of heme heme is ability to carry or bind with the oxygen molecules and these are the oxygen molecules it means they can carry the oxygen molecules or bind the oxygen molecules when these hemoglobins passes through the oxygen at that time they will bind with the oxygen look in this diagram here heme particles or heme pigments are binds with the oxygen so hemoglobin present inside the rbcs and they can carry the oxygen hemoglobin is a conjugated protein because it contains heme and globulin protein you know that what is a conjugated protein conjugated protein is also called complex protein because it is made up of protein and non protein is part that's why we call it conjugated protein so in the hemoglobin globulin protein and heme pigments are present that's why we call it conjugated protein it carry the oxygen from lungs to the all parts of body and in return pick up the carbon dioxide to the lungs look in this diagram now in the vein there is a rbcs which are the deoxygenated when it will go to the lungs at there they lost the carbon dioxide and bind with the oxygen when it will bind with the oxygen at that time they become a reddish in color when they passes through the capillaries it means red uh, red blood cells when passes through the capillaries at there they will lose their oxygen and nutrients and in the return they carry the carbon dioxide and become bluish in color at after that it will go to the lungs for the oxygenation 
so hemoglobin are the pigments which carry the oxygen and carbon dioxide in return the normal level of hemoglobin per 100 milliliter in female is 14 gram and in male is 15 gram structure of the hemoglobin as you know that hemoglobin is made up of heme and globulin protein heme is a iron containing pigment and globulin is a protein that's why it is known as conjugated protein look in this diagram when we study the rbc internally at there we will find the four globulin chains and one iron pigment in a one chain so this is a structure of globulin protein here two alpha chains and two beta chains are present and in each chain each one iron containing pigment is present here this is a beta chain one beta chain two alpha chain one and alpha chain two and in each chain there is a single iron containing pigment is present and each iron containing pigment will bind with the oxygen molecule it means single hemoglobin can carry the four oxygen molecule easily so what we studied that inside the rbc there is a many it means 270 to 80 280 million hemoglobins are present but here we discuss about only single hemoglobin that in single molecule of hemoglobin four chains of proteins are present two alpha chains and two beta chains of globulin which is a quaternary structure the structure of protein is quaternary and four heme units are present in each heme unit and in a hemoglobin there is a four heme containing pigments or iron containing pigments are present and each pigment carry the single molecule of oxygen it means a single hemoglobin can carry the four molecules of the oxygen and each rbc contains 270 to 280 million hemoglobin so billion trillion of oxygen molecules can be carried by a single rbc when four molecules of oxygen binds to the hemoglobin then that is a saturated hemoglobin or oxyhemoglobin when hemoglobin plus oxygen combine at that time that hemoglobin is known as oxyhemoglobin so dear friends this was about the structure of hemoglobin and functions of hemoglobin